guys and welcome back to my channel. I am going to be doing my week 8 pregnancy update today. I cannot believe I'm already sitting down and filming my pregnancy updates for baby number three. As most of you guys know, we are in the middle of a move, so my life is so hectic and crazy right now. We're still living out of boxes. We've been here for a little over a week, like a week and two days, but our stuff just got delivered like three days ago. So we have majority of our stuff still in boxes. You guys are actually sitting on top of two boxes. So I'm making do with what I got. So I apologize for the setup that's going on right now. This is not how it's going to look when I sit down and film my updates for you guys. But I am nine weeks and two days today. My weeks change over on Saturday and it is Monday today. Um, so I'm going to fill you guys in on week eight. That's just how I've done it previously in the past. So if you guys are new to my channel, I have two girls, Bailey, who is almost four. She'll be four in January. And then my other daughter, Shay, is 18 months old. So this is baby number three for my husband and I. Um, and it's just so crazy that I'm sitting down and filming updates already. Um, so I'm just going to jump right into how I've been feeling lately, what my symptoms are. And then at the end of the video, I will, of course, show you guys what my bump looks like at week eight. So the first thing I have written down in the notes in my phone is that I've been feeling constant nausea all throughout the day. Thankfully, the move has kind of helped me keep my mind occupied, so I haven't really had a whole lot of time to like sit down and mope around and think of how crappy I feel, so I'm kind of grateful that we have so much going on right now in my first trimester because it's really kind of forced me to push through it. The other thing I have written down is that I've been feeling extremely tired. And it's been really difficult with the move, being pregnant with two toddlers, um, to like get going during the day and my daughter just started preschool so we have to wake up at like seven o'clock even though my girls are waking up at like 6 45 which is so early for me i'm not an early riser at all i've never been that way but again it's forced me to push through the fatigue and really just kind of like tackle the day so in a way i am very grateful that we have so much going on i know i already said that but i am still feeling super nauseous throughout the day and extremely tired one of the other major symptoms for me that happens in every pregnancy of mine is that i break out like crazy in the first and a little bit of the second trimester as well especially in the first trimester though i break out so bad like in my cheek area around my chin and then like up here it doesn't really happen very often like in my forehead or like my t-zone area but like my cheeks and jawline is it's just i have so much texture and so many breakouts which if you guys have suffered from acne i have all growing up but it gets super bad when i get pregnant it is very debilitating and almost makes you like not even want to leave the house and i wish i could just get up and like leave the house with no makeup and feel fine and feel confident but that's just not that way for me i have so much texture so much redness and my face is so blotchy so i have to put makeup on in order to feel confident and like myself and i hate that i have to do that because when I'm not pregnant I can put like tinted moisturizer on and be fine but when I'm pregnant especially in the first trimester I have to wear a lot of makeup in order to feel myself and feel beautiful and it sucks I hate it but that's just how it is but once I get into the third trimester my hormones start leveling out and my skin clears up a ton and I actually have like really good skin towards the end of my third trimester and like after I give birth the first like three months after I give birth my skin is so clear I love that part of pregnancy because I just feel so beautiful but right now I just feel pretty crappy but I know it's all just because of my hormones I am already waking up to pee like four to five times in the middle of the night which is so crazy I do not remember this happening this quickly in either of my other pregnancies definitely in the third trimester but I'm only nine weeks pregnant and I'm already getting up constantly throughout the night to pee another thing that I've been doing really frequently in this pregnancy is taking a lot of deep breaths throughout the day a lot of you guys said it had to do with anxiety or stress because of all the big life changes happening in our life right now but the reason why I do it is because it calms my stomach from the nausea for like that two seconds my stomach just feels more at ease so I'm constantly having to take deep breaths to try and calm that side effect but I'm sure you guys have noticed in the vlogs too I'm already out of breath so I'm constantly having to like catch my breath 
So yeah, that's been another huge symptom for me this pregnancy. Normally when I'm not pregnant, I have a huge appetite. I can like out eat Adam and I've always been that way. I just eat a lot, but I have a really fast metabolism and I'm not a picky eater whatsoever. But ever since being pregnant, I have had the smallest appetite. My stomach has definitely shrunk. I'll feel starving and I have to eat constantly throughout the day, but it has to be like tiny little meals because I get full so quickly. Whenever I make myself something to eat, I can only take like a couple bites and then I'm full. So I have to constantly eat throughout the day, but it has to be small portions. I also haven't really had any particular cravings this pregnancy and I haven't really had any adversions either. Nothing really sounds that appetizing to me. I cannot wait to get my appetite back because I love food so much but nothing sounds good and I know I have to eat and that's like the only way to keep the nausea at bay is by eating small meals throughout the day but it's hard for me to find something that sounds remotely appetizing so I mean I'll eat whatever but I can again only have a couple bites of it but I cannot wait until I get my appetite back I am drinking a ton more water though this pregnancy my other two pregnancies I never really gravitated towards water. You guys know I'm not a huge water drinker, but I know a lot of women get super thirsty in their pregnancy, and I was never that case with either of my two girls. But for some reason, this pregnancy, I really enjoy drinking water, so I'm really grateful for that. A few days ago, I got this really sharp shooting pain in my uterus area, and I mentioned it to my doctor when I had my confirmation of pregnancy appointment a couple days ago, and she just told me to drink more water, so I've been trying to drink more than I have been. Um, but I don't really know what it was. She never really gave me an answer. I thought it could be like round ligament pain, but she said there's no way. You're way too early in your pregnancy, so I kind of like wrote that off. Um, I'm assuming it's just my uterus growing and stretching. It happened a lot more frequently from like weeks five to seven. It would happen like at least once a week. It hasn't really been that persistent recently. It just happened a couple days ago. It is kind of scary because you don't know what's happening, um, but I really think it's just my uterus stretching, but it does like stop you in your tracks and take your breath away. Like you have to stop for a second. It only lasts for a few seconds, but it is really painful. My boobs are already starting to get really full they don't hurt but like my nipples do my nipples are really sore um, and I do not remember this happening this early on in my pregnancy with my two girls I remember my boobs getting bigger like in my third trimester but I don't know every pregnancy is different there's a few things in this pregnancy where I'm like this did not happen with my two girls but it's fun to like keep track and then the last thing I have written down in my notes is that I'm already starting to live in maternity leggings because none of my jeans fit. I feel like my stomach is already so big and I know a lot of you guys said it could be like constipation, which I'm not constipated. So it's not just like a bunch of buildup in there. Um, it's obviously probably bloat, but it's just crazy to me because I'll show you guys in a minute, but my stomach is already so big and I'm like, is there two in there? Because I have no idea. I have not had my first sonogram. As you guys know, I've only had the confirmation of pregnancy with the move and like being in the military and stuff having TRICARE Prime and the way that they do things just makes it kind of difficult to get seen right away. But I did have that appointment with my primary care and they gave me the referral to my OB out here in Texas. So I'm just waiting for them to call me so that I can go in and make sure that there's only one baby in there. I'm hoping that they call me this week and that I can get in this week, but I have a feeling it might be pushed back to the following week because of Thanksgiving, but I don't know. We will see. I will keep you guys updated. But those are my main symptoms for week eight. So now I'll show you guys what my belly looks like okay so here's what it looks like from the front you can kind of see it right there and then from the side I feel like that's so big for eight weeks I don't know you guys will have to tell me let me know what you guys think that's what it looks like from the other side but keep in mind that this is my third pregnancy so I know you show a lot quicker but I don't know We'll see. Let me know if you guys think I'm having twins. <laughs> twins do run in Adam's mom's side of the family. So Adam and I have just been like joking around for the past couple of weeks that there's two babies in there. My gut instinct doesn't think that there is, but we will find out shortly. But I hope you guys enjoyed my week eight pregnancy update. Let me know in the comments if you guys want me to do them weekly like I did with Shay or if you want me to do them bi-weekly. It's up to you guys. Whatever you guys want to see, I want to film for you. But let me know. And thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new and I will see you guys very soon. Bye. 
Maybe I shouldn't call you Or leave a message at all So I try to be patient Cause nothing's written on the wall Yeah, it's too soon to mention 